We want our students to become you know, creators and thinkers and makers. I think the students who come in the space, the first thing they, they do is they say, wow, because it's so much equipment that's at their access. Yeah. Oh, it worked. Well, the cool part about a maker space is it's not really one thing. Um, it can look a variety of different ways depending upon what you have. We decided what does maker space look like at Ridge? And we went ahead and we wrote three different grants and received those grants. The exciting thing about Makerspace is you see a blend of high-tech equipment and also low-tech equipment. So in using the money from the grants and a couple of building funds, we purchased some high-tech equipment. But then we also have some traditional items, um, craft materials, glue guns, we have um, hammers, we have um, pipe cleaners and popsicle sticks. So it's a blend of things that can range anywhere from like craft materials all the way up to some high-tech materials. The idea with the Makerspace is it's, it's going to bring out a different type of learning for students. It's a creation zone. It's a flexible learning environment, so students are able to tap into other interests that they have besides some of the things that they're doing inside the classroom. It's not a typical classroom. It's a whole different environment, and kids, when they're in a classroom, have this, you know, here I am in class. It's a setting where I just have to learn, and it almost removes the stigma of being in class when you're going and building and you're talking, and, you know, it's not sit there, take notes, listen to the teacher. It's go and explore and have fun, and Makerspace is supposed to be fun. It's critical thinking, it's collaboration, it's being able to communicate with each other and you know, learning different roles and applying that because you need all of those skills outside of the classroom. There's a couple of different options. One, two, three D design. One of our professional development days, we really wanted to stay in our maker space and we wanted to stay in-house. That was important to us because that's what the teachers are going to be using in their lesson plans and using with their students. And our teachers who volunteered for this professional development were able to spend 30 minutes with each different kind of equipment in the space. And that's really been beneficial because they're able to then see what the machine and the equipment does so they can then take it back into their classroom and feel more comfortable with their students using the equipment. So Makerspace in its traditional sense is not supposed to be something planned and super organized. But we realize that working in a public school and with our content standards and some of our standardized testing that we have going on, we need to see how Makerspace connects to those things. So the teachers here are spending some time lesson planning and figuring out how does Makerspace relate to my content? How does it relate to specific standards? And they're taking some time here to actually plan that out so that sometime in 2017 we'll be able to implement their lessons. I myself was able to take my math class into and we used it as a review session using the Makey Makey kits and playing music if they got the answers right, which also tied in our science background of creating circuits. So there's really no right or wrong of what the makerspace looks like, but for us um, it's a lot of really cool hands-on activities and tools. The thing that I think is most exciting is the opportunity of making math alive. Um, science, it's really easy to do that. Art, it's really easy to do that. But when you can take kids um, who struggle with math and put them in and they learn and they light up on their face because they finally get it seeing and touching, it's awesome and just really encouraging as an educator. I think that a lot of times when we approach school, we have things that are structured and things that are planned out. And when you come into a makerspace, it's just, it's completely different than that. Students have a lot of talents outside of school, such as maybe they know how to work a sewing machine or maybe they play the guitar and they're able to come into the space and really use those talents too. So I think naturally kids are curious and I think naturally kids love to explore. So being in there and having that access, it's exciting to them and they really do just jump right in. Kids today, I don't think that they understand how many skills there are that they could utilize and create great futures for themselves and I just think that giving them those experiences is gonna benefit them in the long run.